Hello folks and goats, my name is Griffin, coming to you deep from within the Command Valley, and we have a special treat for you today. A quick shout out to Game Grid, our sponsor. If you are looking for any cards for your decks, then feel free to click the link in the description below where you can go to their website and put in a copy and pasteable link to any of our deck lists or cards that you need and get them shipped directly to your house. Thank you to all of our Patreons for supporting our content. If you are looking for the best way to support our content, head on over to patreon.com slash command valley and consider joining up for one of our tiers. All right then goats, we're very excited to show you this video. This is not a duel of the peak season episode. However, we did decide to do a gameplay video featuring the two pre-con decks from Zendikar Rising and the two pre-con decks from Commander Legends. Nothing has been taken out, nothing has been put in. They are the full released untouched pre-con decks. Allow me to introduce the decks and the hands and then we will begin the gameplay. Now starting us off, we have Landon who is playing Anna Wong, the Ruin Thief pre-con deck, and his opening hand was Una's Black Guard, Surefooted Infiltrator, Demir Signet, Three Swamps, and an Island. Peter took on the AC Tyrant of Gyre Strait deck and his opening hand was Search for Tomorrow, Cultivate, Shipbreaker Kraken, Meteor Golem, an Island, and Two Forests. Griffin took one for the team, playing Wyleth Soul of Steel, and his opening hand was Ring of Thune, Brass Squire, Jaya's Emulating Inferno, Winds of Wrath, a Mountain, and Two Plains. And finishing us off, we have Caleb playing Aboon, Muldaya Ancestor, and his opening hand was Arcane Signet, Colony Heart Expedition, Spring Bloom Druid, Naya Charm, Beanstalk Giant, Myriad Landscape, and a Plains. All right, let's jump in. If, if you enjoy this content, reminder, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it and appreciate all those of you who have already subscribed. All right, then Landon starts us off. He draws, plays a swamp, taps it for a turn one changeling outcast and passes the turn. Peter draws and plays a forest. He taps it to suspend a search for tomorrow, exiling it and putting two time counters on it. With that, he passes. Griffin draws and plays a planes, shipping the turn to Caleb. Classic Boros turn one. Caleb draws, plays a myriad landscape tapped, and passes. Classic landfall deck turn one. Landon begins his second turn untapping and drawing. He plays an island, then taps both of his islands to play Demir Signet. He goes to combat, swinging Changeling Outcast at Caleb, who can't block it, and takes one. Then moves to his end step and passes the turn. Peter untaps, trigger on the search for tomorrow. He removes a time counter from it. He then draws, plays an island, and ends his turn. Griffin draws, plays a mountain, and taps out to play a Ring of Thune, and passes. Caleb untaps and draws, playing a forest and tapping out for Arcane Signet, then passes. Turn 3, Lannan untaps and draws. He plays a swamp, then taps 2 for Una's Blackguard. He heads to combat, aiming the Changeling Outcast at Peter, taking him down to 39. With nothing else, he passes the turn. Peter untaps and in his upkeep, Search for Tomorrow will trigger, removing a time counter, allowing him to cast the Search for Tomorrow for free. He searches his library for a basic land and puts it into play. He then draws and taps 3 to play Cultivate, putting a forest into play tapped and puts an island into his hand. Peter then plays a forest for his land for turn and with nothing else passes the turn. Griffin untaps and draws. He plays a Command Tower, then taps out to play Wyleth Soul of Steel and ships the turn to Caleb. Caleb untaps, draws, and plays a Plains. He will also tap out to play his commander, Aboon Moldaya Ancestor, and pass to Landon. Landon untaps and draws, then plays a Swamp for his turn. He taps 4 for his commander, Anawan the Ruin Thief. Una's Black Guard triggers and puts a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Anawan. Then, moving to combat, he swings a Changeling Outcast at Griffin and Una's Black Guard at Caleb. Both declare no blocks, take 2, causing Anawan to trigger, having them both mill 2 cards. Griffin mills 2 planes and Caleb mills 2 creatures. Trigger on Anawan, Lannan will draw a card because one of his opponents milled a creature. Moving through his second main, he passes the turn. Peter untaps and draws, playing a forest and tapping out for his commander, AC Tyrant of Gyre Strait. He's able to play a second land because of AC. He plays an island, which triggers AC, letting him draw a card. He then passes to Griffin. Griffin untaps and draws. He plays a mountain, then taps it to equip Ring of Thune to Wyleth. He goes to combat and swings Wyleth at Caleb for three. Wyleth triggers on attack and Griffin will draw a card because Wyleth has one equipment attached to him. Caleb declares no blocks and takes three. And with that, Griffin passes his turn. Caleb untaps and draws, taps two for a Colony Heart Expedition, and passes the turn, noting that he did not play a land for turn. Turn five, Lennon untaps and draws. He, he pays four to cast Stink Drinker Bandit, coming in with a plus one plus one counter from Una's Black Guard. He heads straight to combat, swinging Changeling Outcast at Peter and Una's Black Guard at Caleb. The bandit gives them a plus two plus one buff for being unblocked, so both will take four damage. Trigger on Anna One, making them each mill four, and both players will mill a Yavamaya Elder. Trigger on Anna One, allowing Lennon to draw two cards. On his second main phase, he plays a Dismal Blackwater, gaining a life, and passes the turn. Peter untaps and draws. He starts with a Coral Atoll, returning an untapped island to his hand. AC triggers and he draws a card. 
He then plays Command Tower as his second land for turn, triggering AC again and drawing another card. Peter then pays 5 for Maloku the Clouded Mirror and heads to combat. He then swings AC at Landon, Landon declares no blocks and takes 5. He then passes to Griffin. Griffin untaps and in his upkeep, Wyleth gets a plus 1 plus 1 counter from the Ring of Thune. He draws, plays a Plains, then pays 1 to cast Bone Splitter. He taps Brass Quarry to attach Bone Splitter to Wyleth and heads to combat. He swings Wyleth at Peter for 6. Wyleth triggers and draws Griffin 2 cards. Peter does not block and he takes 6. Griffin then passes the turn. Caleb untaps and draws and then taps 3 to cast a Retreat to Kazandu. He plays Naya Panorama which triggers a boon, Retreat to Kazandu and Colony Heart Expedition. From these triggers, a boon gets 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters from himself and the Retreat to Kazandu and the Expedition gets 1 counter. Caleb heads the combat, turning his Naya Panorama into a 5-5 Elemental with Trample and Haste. He swings at a Peter and Peter takes 5, going down to 24. With that, he passes to Landon. On turn 6, Landon untaps, draws and plays an Island. He taps 4 to play Gonti, Lord of Luxury, which enters with a plus one plus one counter. Gonti triggers on ETB, and Landon chooses Griffin to get a card from his top four. Landon exiles a card face down and puts the rest on the bottom of Griffin's library. He goes to combat, swinging Changeling Outcast at Caleb, Una's Blackguard at Griffin, and Anawan and Stink Drinker Bandit at Peter. Peter responds to the attackers by activating Maloku twice, returning two lands to his hand and creating two flying illusions. He chump blocks the two attackers and his illusions will die. Caleb and Griffin have no blocks, taking 4 and milling 4 respectively. Caleb will mill a creature, so Landon will draw a card from Anawan. On his second main phase, Landon casts an invisible stalker for 2, entering with a plus 1 plus 1 counter, and ending his turn. Peter untaps and draws, he plays 2 forests, drawing 2 cards from AC, and then taps 8 to cast Stormtide Leviathan. He passes, and on his end step, Griffin flashes in Timely Ward to make his commander indestructible. Griffin untaps and puts a counter on Wyleth on his upkeep. He draws, then taps 5 to cast Winds of Wrath, destroying all creatures that are not enchanted. In respond, Lennon will cast the Exiled card from Gonti Lord of Luxury, casting a Source to Plowshares, exiling Wyleth and sending it back to the command zone. Griffin goes up to 40 from the Swords, and all other creatures are destroyed. With nothing left, Griffin passes. Caleb untaps and draws, tapping 3 for Far Wanderings. Since he has Threshold, he searches his library for 3 lands and puts them into play tapped. This triggers the retreat to Kazandu and the Colony Heart Expedition, giving him 6 life and putting 3 counters on the Expedition. He then sacrifices the Expedition, searching for 2 more lands onto the battlefield, and gaining 4 more life from the retreat. He then passes to Landon. Beginning turn 7 on an otherwise empty board, Landon untaps and draws. He plays a Swamp for turn, and then pays 4 for Bone Horde. Across the board, there are 15 total creatures in graveyards, so the Bone Horde gives plus 15, plus 15. He taps 5 for a Sure-Footed Infiltrator and a Slither Blade, then passes to Peter. Peter untaps and draws. He spends 8 mana to recast AC. He then plays a Forest and an Island, drawing a card for each, and then, on his M-step, he will discard down to hand size. Griffin untaps and draws, and pays 5 to recast Wyleth then passes the turn. Caleb untaps and draws, he then pays 6 to recast a boon as well, then pays 3 to cast a Spring Bloom Druid. He sacrifices a Plains, then searches his library for a Mountain and a Plains, triggering Obun and the Retreat to Kazandu twice, giving Obun 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters. He goes to combat, swinging a 7-7 Naya Panorama at Griffin, and Griffin takes 7, then moves to his end step. On turn 8, Landon untaps and draws, he will follow suit and recast Anawan for 6. He re-equips Bone Horde onto the Slither Blade, killing the Germ Token attached to it. He then heads to combat and declares the Slither Blade attacking at Peter for 17. Peter responds to the attack with a Beast Within, targeting the Bone Horde, destroying it and making a 3-3 Beast for Landon. Peter would take 2 from the Slither Blade and mill 2, failing to mill a creature. With that, Landon passes the turn. Peter untaps and draws. He starts his turn with a Kodama's Reach, getting a Forest onto the battlefield and a Forest into his hand. AC triggers, drawing Peter a card. He then plays an Island and a Forest for his Lance for turn, triggering AC two more times and drawing two more cards. He then pays three for Compulsive Research, drawing three cards and discarding a land. And finally, he taps out for Nezahal Primal Tide, giving him no maximum hand size, and passes the turn to Griffin. Griffin untaps and draws, and pays two to re-equip his equipments to Wyleth. He heads to combat, swinging Wyleth at Landon for 4. He will draw 2 cards from Wyleth's trigger, and Landon will declare no blocks and take 4. Moving to his second main face, he plays a Plains, then taps 2 for Sram, Senior Edificer. He then taps 1 for an Explorer Scope, triggering Sram and Nizahal to give Griffin and Peter a card. He then passes to Caleb. Caleb untaps and draws. He plays 3 to cast a Fertile Footsteps, the adventure half of Beanstalk Giant. Nezahal will trigger, drawing Peter a card, and Caleb finds a forest onto the battlefield. He gets two more landfall triggers and puts two plus one plus one counters on a boon, and he then pays six to cast Beanstalk Giant from Exile. Then he goes to combat, turning a planes into a 9-9 and swinging it at Peter and a boon at Landon. Landon blocks with his 3-3 beast, and Peter declares no blocks, taking nine. Caleb then moves through his second main and ends the turn. 
Beginning of turn 9, Lennon untaps and draws. He taps 6 to cast a Stolen Identity, targeting AC to make a token copy of it. Peter draws from Nezahal, and Lennon exiles Stolen Identity, encoded under Slitherblade. He taps Anwan to give Sure-Footed Infiltrator unblockable, then swings at Caleb for 3 and Slitherblade at Peter for 2. Both hit, triggering Anawan. Peter will mill a creature, so Lennon draws 1 card. Sure-Footed Infiltrator will trigger, drawing him another card, and Stolen Identity triggers off of the encoding and is recast. Lennon will target the Nezahal and make a token copy of of it. Peter will draw another card from Nezahal from the free stolen identity. On a second main, Lennon plays a Demir Guildgate and taps 3 for Sig River Cutthroat. He passes and Sig will trigger, since an opponent lost 3 or more life this turn, and draw another card. Peter untaps and draws. He plays an Evolving Wilds, cracking it to find a forest, and then plays an island, naming him 3 cards from AC triggers. He goes right into combat, swinging Nezahal at Griffin, so Griffin will take 7. He then pays 5 for Merc Fiend Liege. He passes, and on Griffin's untap step, he will untap Nezahal. Griffin begins his turn untapping, and on his upkeep, Wyleth gets another counter from the Ring of Thun. He draws and taps 1 to cast a Soul Ring. Lannan and Peter will both draw a card from their Nezahals. He taps 1 more to equip the Explorer Scope to Wyleth, then goes to combat. He swings Wyleth at Peter for 5, triggering Explorer Scope, but the top card isn't a land, so he puts it back. Then triggering Wyleth, he will draw three cards. Peter declares Nezahal as a blocker, and in response, Griffin casts Fist of Flames, targeting Wyleth, drawing him a card, and giving Wyleth plus five plus zero until end of turn. Peter and Landon both draw a card off of this, but Peter has no other responses. Going to damage, Griffin responds again by casting Valorous Stance, making Wyleth indestructible. Peter and Landon draw another card, and the damage goes through, taking out Nezahal and dealing three damage to Peter. In his second main, he cracks his Evolving Wilds to find a mountain, and then he passes. Landon's Sig will trigger, because an opponent lost three life, and he'll draw another card. Caleb goes to his turn, untapping and drawing. He plays five for an elite scale guard, bolstering his Springbloom Druid for two. He plays an Evolving Wild as his land for turn and cracks it, along with his myriad landscape searching for three lands. He gets four landfall triggers from both Aboon and Retreat to Kazandu. He puts four plus one plus one counters on Aboon, one counter on Beanstalk Giant, and three counters on Elite Scale Guard. He goes to combat, making a forest into a creature, and swinging everything he can at Landon. Elite Scale Guard will trigger, tapping down all of Landon's untapped creatures. Landon has no blocks and takes enough to be removed out of the game. Rest in peace, Landon, you will be missed. Then moving to his second main phase, Caleb will play a Fertilid and go to his end step. Peter responds to the end step by flashing in an Elder Deep Fiend, tapping down all of his opponent's remained untapped creatures. Beginning turn 10, Peter will untap and draw. He plays a Reliquary Tower, making sure he doesn't have to discard his massive hand. AC triggers and draws him a card. He then pays 6 for Spitting Image, targeting Caleb's Oboon and creating a token copy of it. He pays 3 for Ramanap Excavator and then plays Evolving Wilds from his graveyard. He cracks it and find an island, triggering AC twice, and a boon two more times, drawing him two cards and adding two counters to a boon. He pays five for Urban Evolution, drawing three cards and letting him play another land, so he plays a forest and triggers AC and a boon once again. He then pays two for Explorer, drawing another card and playing an island, triggering AC and a boon one last time. Finally, he heads to combat, making an island a 7-7 creature and swinging Murphing Liege, AC, Elder Deep Fiend, and the island all at Caleb. Caleb has no blocks and goes down to 10. Satisfied, he passes to Griffin. Griffin untaps, letting Peter untap his creatures from the liege, and on his upkeep, Wyleth will get another counter. He draws, then thinks for a little bit. He plays a planes, then taps 5 for Words of Seizing, stealing Caleb's 13-13 Aboon. He casts Spirit Mantle on Aboon, making it a 14-14 with protection from creatures. Triggering Sram, he will draw him a card. He heads to combat, making a planes into a 14-14 trample in haste, swinging a boon at Peter and his planes and Wyleth at Caleb. Trigger on the Explorer Scope and Wyleth. He chooses to resolve Explorer Scope first. He gets a Rogue Passage off the top and into play tapped. He then draws three more cards from Wyleth. Peter responds by casting Peel from Reality, targeting Ramanek Excavator and Griffin's Oboon to return them to their hands. Griffin responds to that by casting a Condemn, targeting Caleb's Oboon that he controls, which puts at the bottom of Caleb's library and gains Griffin 15 life. Peel from Reality then resolves and returns the Excavator to Peter's hand. Damage then resolves, dealing enough to Caleb to take him out of the game. Rest in peace, Caleb. You will also be missed. Griffin then passes the turn back to Peter, warning him that he has gas in his hand, and if he doesn't end the game right here, then it is over. Turn 11, Peter, up to the challenge, untaps and draws. Thinking about what Griffin said, he plans his turn very carefully. He first plays two forests, drawing two cards and getting two counters from a boon. He then taps four for a Sharktoe Crab, then adapts it for four, causing him to tap down Griffin's Wyleth, which will not untap on his upkeep. He then pays 10 for a Stump Squall Hydra, X equal to 7, letting him distribute 6 plus 1 plus 1 counters to AC and 1 to the Hydra. 
He taps two for swift foot boots, then pays one to equip it to the Sharkter Crab to give it haste. He goes to combat, triggering Oboon to make a 10-10 island with trample and haste. He swings everything he has except for the Hydra at Griffin, and Griffin responds with the response half to response resurgence, dealing five damage to the Murkfiend leash, taking it out. With its buff gone, Griffin declares no blocks and takes 40 damage, taking Griffin down to one. After all that, feeling defeated, Peter passes the turn back to Griffin. Griffin untaps and draws, applauding Peter for his well-played turn. Seeking to make death quick, he taps out for Jai's Immolating Inferno, dealing 8 damage straight to Peter's face and finishing him off. All right, my goats, I hope you enjoyed this game. It was a ton of fun. Every single one of these precon decks is a lot of fun to play, even the Boros deck. So all of your Boros players out there, I hope I made you proud. If you are looking to get any of these decks, you can pick them up at GameGrid's website, so please head on over to the link in the description box below where you can find all the product that you need for your decks. It helps out the podcast, and we appreciate them a lot. If you would like to see more content like this, then please head on over to patreon.com slash commandvalley and consider signing up as a patron. We have tons of exclusive benefits, access to Discord, exclusive content. You can play with us on Discord and have a great time on and just and just hang out with us. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel and check out all of our other fun content, including our gameplay series, Duel of the Peaks, which is on the last episode coming out later this month. So before that, catch yourselves up with all the remaining Duel of the Peaks episode. We will have a playlist, which includes all the episodes for you guys as well. All right, with that, thanks so much for watching. We appreciate every single one of you, all of our viewers, and we hope you have a great weekend.